Hello class, good evening, good evening, welcome. It's Monday again. How are you guys doing? How's it going, Daniel? Hey, good evening, nice, nice. to see you. Great. Nice uh, to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. It's Monday again. Okay, so welcome, Daniel. Welcome, guys. I know you can you can listen to me. If Daniel can listen to me, everybody can listen to me. So Harrison is there. I think Harrison is at work. Nice to see you, Harrison. Uh, Narcisa is there. It's Christina and Marlene. So we are six connected here. Okay. So welcome. It's um. Good evening, Narciso. <laughs> okay, so let me start checking the attendance. I really hope you had a great weekend. I know sometimes we have other activities to do, but, um, uh, you know, even like that, we have to look at the bright side. As somebody said last time, we have to see the positive light, I mean, the positive side of life. Okay, so let me start checking the attendance, guys. Welcome once again. And let's see, one second, just opening, you know, the attendance file so I can start tracking, you know, it. And I think more people are, jo are joining us. Maria Julia is just coming. Okay, give me a second, please. Meanwhile, uh, it loads, meanwhile, the file opens. Uh, do you want to tell me about your weekend? What you did, um, how was it, did you, I don't know, spend time with family, stay home. Did you go to the beach? <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, anything that you would like to share. It'll be great in English. I go to the beach in my grace, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, in fact, uh, this day I'm gonna, I'm going to your, how say? To uh, Kusun Sonate. Hometown. Hmm. Hometown, yes, uh, specifically Isanko. Okay, yeah. In the, in, the, in the middle of, okay, how say mediodía? Noon, at noon. At noon is raining. Mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of raining. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Today was raining, yeah, it was raining a lot at noon, yes. yeah. 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 Because, because, um, Sunday, mm -hmm. working, working, work. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, I imagine it's been a little bit um, rainy this day. Uh, yeah, but you know, it's but, okay. But all all week I have a day off. <laughs> oh okay. Oh, that's great to hear that. I'm, I'm hear gonna that. I'm going to work at night uh, at Friday. Okay. All right. Nice. <laughs> nice to hear that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Marlene, Judy, tell me, how was your weekend? 
It was nice. It was nice. Yeah. Okay. Only working. <laughs> Only working. <laughs> okay. Working. So that was really nice. <laughs> working hard was cool. Okay. Good. And Judy, how was your weekend? Fine. <laughs> I work in and I visit the doctor. Oh, you visited, I visited the doctor and you worked. <laughs> okay. Okay. I really hope everything is okay. So thank you so much. Now let me start checking the attendance, please. Give me a second. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was just double checking something right here. Okay, so yeah, let's see. Angel Narciso. I'm your teacher. Thank you. Hey guys, today is like August the 30th. Wow, one day more and August is gone. You see, it's incredible. Christina Stephanie. Christina. Not yet connected. Uh, Daniel Antonio Luna. Thank you so much, Elsie. Not connected yet. Gabriela Guadalupe. Not connected. Okay. Harrison. Jose. Thank you. Jose Miguel. Connected, Jose. Let's move on. Jose Ruben. Isn't connected either. JC. No. Wow, it's it's been like uh, Linda Yvette. Not connected. Maria Idalia. Many people missing today. Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Julia. Uh, Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you. Marvin Omar. Present teacher. Who's this? Oh, Christina. Me había deshabilitado la cámara y el micrófono. Mm -hmm. Christina, yeah. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't know what happened. I did. I don't know what happened. Um, but thank you for reporting it. Okay. Marvin is not here. Norma Carolina. Norma. Oh, Norma is here. Present. Thank present, you. present, present. Thank you so much. Rafa. Rafa is not connected. This is weird. Okay, let's see. Raquel should it. Present, teacher. Oh, Rachel is here. Okay. Thank you so much. Where's Rachel? Raquel, you did. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, you uh, hid yourself. <laughs> okay, Raquel is here. And then Ray, Ray is not connected, right? Ray is not connected. Oh, oh yeah. Hello. <laughs> Judy, is that your song? Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay, I can see. Hey, hello. 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 Hey. What's your name? Danny. Okay, Danny. Danny. Da Danny. Danny. Oh, nice to meet you. Guste conocerlo, Danny. Ahí tenemos a Daniel también. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, uh, so. Hi to Cayo. Hi to Cayo. That's Danny <laughs> Junior. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you, you see, I love that. Kids are very curious, you know, they want to see what's going on, you know, that's really interesting. That's why kids, that's why kids learn a lot, because of curiosity, you know, and then we have to be curious as well. Ray is not here, let me continue, and then Xiomara, Xiomara is not here. Okay, uh, Judy Lisette. Judy and Judy is there. Yeah. Okay. All right. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, welcome once again. I see Marvin is here as well. How are you, Marvin? Marvin? Hello, teacher. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. 
Idalia is here as well. How are you, Idalia? Idalia? I'm okay, but I'm tired. <laughs> it's Monday. Come on. Cheer up. Cheer up. I know it's not, it's not. I mean, sometimes Mondays are really, you know, um, what busy because it's the first day of work. But well, we had the weekend to, you know, kind of like refresh our mind and have a different mindset. So cheer up, okay? I know it's not easy sometimes because of a lot of stress at work, but you know, uh, be positive. Look at the bright side. Como dijo alguien, veamos el lado positivo. Okay, uh, we are connected and we are gonna start today. Today we have um, like many things to study. And um, I want to begin with uh, what is on the manual, okay? And I know you have already, mm, well, let me modify this. I'm gonna, I want to start, sorry, by asking about the listening activities. That's the one I wanted to say, okay? Let's see, on the chat, please share with me. I'm not gonna go that difficult. Let's say, share with me five words you learned from the two listenings, okay? Five words, only five words or phrases that you, or maybe more, what did you learn or what did you review? ¿Quién pudo comprar el librito que les dije que comprar el cuadernito solo para listening? ¿Quién lo hizo? Nobody did it, right? <laughs> I can see you guys. Okay, but go ahead and share with me. Oh, Marlene has it. Marlene, you are a savior. Can I see it one more time, please? Can I, can I see it? Hello. Yeah, can I see your uh, notebook? Yeah, I have. Oh, okay. Um, so listen, I want you to tell me, did you have some time? Did you leave some time to practice the listening? Yes, you did. Raise your hand, please, or, or give me a thumbs up if you practice the three listenings. Thumbs up if you practice three listenings. Okay, I have Marlene, I have Maria Idalia. Hmm, this is a little bit interesting. Why didn't you practice, guys? You didn't have time. Was that the reason? Were you tired? Estaban cansados? Were you working? You had two days. You had Saturday and you had Sunday. Sé que están cansados, sí, pero I understand that, pero that is necessary, okay? I want you to understand that because listening, it is essential, essential, like essential, like essential, okay? So, um, solo como tres me levantaron la mano. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? What do we have to do? Compartanme lo que aprendieron en el listening. Hmm. In okay. my case, um, the, I listened uh, the first um, listening about the credit card, and for me, it was difficult to understand. Um, what they are with what they were saying but it, but for the second listening uh to order a pizza i think it was um menos difícil easier mm -hmm. it was easier okay it was easier uh, okay, make the order a pizza and a cheer burger. Uh, okay, yes. So thank you for sharing your experience, Idalia. Exactly, I understand it is 
difficult because they speak really fast. And, but that's the challenge, right? Remember, yeah, I want to say, I want to first um, mention what um, I think is Christina, yeah. The first one is for uh, order a pizza. The second one is cheeseburgers, right? Ordering, okay, yes. And then Idalia in class, remember, there is a section in which you can see the script. Hay una parte donde pueden ver el script. ¿Verdad? No sé si se ayudó con eso, Idalia. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's something you can consider. First step, solo vayan a hacerlo without looking at the script. Y traten de entender, at least, si no, si le entendemos un 50%, it's, it's something, you know? And then try to answer the um, questions, and then if you don't get it, then you go and listen again. But then, and then, maybe a third time you see the script. Hay muchas palabras nuevas que quizás nunca las han escuchado, por eso no las entienden. Okay? Y that's understandable. Ahí viene usted y se hace, ¿verdad? Su libretita, first expression, second expression, y ahí se van sumando. Everything is adding up. Todo eso va agregando. Okay? Uh, I, I listen to the, the I listen in, I mean I listen to the listenings as you said and I liked them you know they were cool many vocabulary that you will use real like useful vocabulary you know Danny is very attentive I can see Danny <laughs> now we have two Daniels connected okay so, yeah, that, that is important. Eso es importantísimo, ¿ok? Uh, bueno, vamos a discutir una pregunta que aparecía en el listening, ¿ok? I want you to tell me. Uh, let's see. Le voy a compartir la pantalla. Uh, ayúdeme a, a leer la, la pregunta, Marlene, please. I don't know if you can see it. Mm, not yet. Yo creo que me quedé frisado. ¿Me, me escucha? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Ahora? Yeah. Okay. Yes. What are some of the questions you will you will ask be asked when ordering a piece of by phone? Uh -huh. Veamos, hagamos un brainstorming ideas ahorita. Primero, what are some questions you would ask? What, what, what is the topping? Okay, what is it? What are the toppings? Okay, I like it. Uh huh. And what about, let's see, that you will be asked? That means that the representative will ask you. So you would ask, what are the topics available? What is the, what is the direction? Okay, yes. Okay. Veo que si escucho, what, what you like? Would you like an uh, order? Would you like an order? Okay. What would an agent ask? What else would an agent ask? What else would, you know, the person who is assisting you ask? The quantity. Of the quantity, the, the amount. Exactly. Amount, uh, exactly. What do you drink? Drinks, yes, if you want to include drinks, yes, beverages. Okay, good. What else? What is the name? The name, yeah, the name of the person who is ordering the pizza. Yes, exactly. And what about, um, let's see, cheeseburgers. Have you ever ordered cheeseburgers, guys? Have you ever called on the phone to order burgers or hamburgers? Yes, the second uh, line uh -huh. is the eating cheeseburger. Burgers, right? Do you remember what was uh, the, let's see, the, the person who called needed a pizza for, um, for what? Who was going to eat the pizza? ¿Quién se iba a comer la pizza? I mean, uh, the burgers. I'm sorry, the burgers. Uh, uh, the soccer team. Oh, the ah, soccer team. Yeah, the soccer, soccer team. Exactly. The soccer team. Exactly. The soccer team. Okay. I like it. I like it. And how many? Uh, I think it was, uh, I don't know if it was, uh, um, what was this thing? 
What was the amount? What was the price? Do you remember the price? The total price? Two hundred ninety dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're really good, Daniel. Yeah. I was trying to remember because I think it's two hundred ninety dollar with thirteen cents. I think I'm not sure, but yeah, that's the that's the uh, that's the amount two two ninety. Okay, good. I don't remember the other questions. Um, uh, cheese sticks. I think forty cheese sticks. Do you remember? Don't remember exactly. Okay, but then the point is, guys. El punto es que quiero que usted haga su listita, right? Vocabulary that you don't know. Veamos, ¿cómo se dice cuando, cuando alguien come bastante? ¿Vieron ese, ese idiom ahí? ¿Aparecía? Ahí apareció un idiom cuando alguien uh, eats a lot. Who remembers that? Es interesante porque ese idiom es, se utiliza, lo voy a mandar. I like it. I mean, I, I knew this, but I like to see it. Uh, to pick out. It means when you eat, when you pick out, it means that you eat a lot. Viene de como, how would you say that in Spanish? That's interesting. How would you say this in Spanish? Any, any idea? Random. <laughs> como que so cerdo. <laughs> como que so, to pick out, glotón. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Uh -huh. Ok, el, el cerdo se, se caracteriza por, este, por ser omnívoro, right? <ríe> come de todo y come bastante, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. and, and the scene for your supper, what, what is the, ¿qué, ¿qué significa? Como un intercambio. Uh, which one did you say? Oh. Lo voy a enviar. Oh, sing for, sing for, sing como, for your supper. Es como decir, bye, yo pago la soda, pero vos vas a poner los churros. Mm, <laughs> no necessarily, no necessarily. Pues eso como, eso sería, dice? lo que usted acaba de decir sería más, sería más chipping, como hacer ahí que chipping, como, o, o, o share the cost, que es lo mismo. Pero uh, ese sing for your supper, ya le voy a mandar un ejemplo. Bye. Sí, permita, pero voy a mandar el shipping, que es hacer, compartir costos o share the cost. Pero sí, for your supper, en el contexto que lo ponen es que, pues, por ejemplo, si yo la invito a, a, a comer o usted me invita después y somos colegas, yo voy a, voy a que, pero me ayudas a hacer la, el reporte, por ejemplo, como as, como solo like a compensation. Ok, Ajá, como que yo, yo le ayudo aquí, pero también usted tiene que sacarse algo, Something like that. algo así, ¿verdad? Mm. Así, ese sin for your supper, como que no se sé, traduciría como, I don't know, literalmente, es que traducido, literalmente, traducido es como can, cantado can, por la cena o algo ajá, así. Ajá, ajá, como que. Uh, no, no, it doesn't make sense. Busquemos una frase que, que diga eso, ajá. como, como. Este, debe haber un idioma, debe haber una expresión idiomática en español que la usa. Más me suena como, no vamos a traducir literalmente. Es like, uh, ok, since for your supper. Uh, Por eso yo pensaba como, no sé, como un intercambio, como vos haces esto y sí. no, yo hago esto y vos haces eso. Ajá, pero es, es, es que en realidad viene a eso, pero viene más que todo es como que me vas a pagar. Vas a, vas a hacer algo uh -huh. por lo que yo he hecho por ti, no en el momento, porque lo que sea, uh -huh. el ejemplo que se mencionaba es como que en el momento, uh, vamos, yo hago esto. Es como, como me vas a deber un favor. O algo eh, así. Ah, exactly, ahí, something uh -huh. like that, yeah, ahí, por ahí, exactly, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ahí, that, that would uh -huh. be the best okay. one. Uh -huh. <ríe> ok, you have to you. See for yourself. Como te la te, como tenés que ganarte el, 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 lo, el, lo que yo he hecho por ti. Entonces, tenés que compensar con algo, ¿ok? Algo así. Ok, bueno. Thank you so much, guys. Los que no vieron los listening, pues, please do it. It's necessary. That will enhance your learning. Eso va a ampliar un poco su, su, su aprendizaje, ¿ok? Well, um, now, let's go back. Let's go back to the to the reading and to the book we have here 
our uh, today's session. And this is, I love this topic because it talks about customer satisfaction. I want to ask, let's see, maybe one volunteer. What is customer satisfaction? Any volunteer, what's your opinion? What is customer satisfaction? Anybody? What comes to your mind when you listen to the word customer satisfaction? Customer satisfaction is when we will complete at the end of this course. <laughs> and, the last, and, the last, and the last day of class of English class. Okay. English class. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. That's a good example. Yeah. Customer satisfaction is that when we finish these modules like uh, maybe I don't know how long it will take maybe one more than a year you guys are speaking English really good fluent English we will we'll be able to understand like like the majority of you know uh, scenarios so that's customer satisfaction I like that Daniel uh, what else customer satisfaction have you ever been a satisfied customer and ustedes si sido un alguna vez un cliente satisfecho can you recall any uh, experience, maybe at a pizza restaurant, McDonald's, I don't know, even on a service company, for example, Claro, um, I don't know, these companies where you guys contigo. purchase. Contigo. Yeah, contigo. <laughs> so I don't know, you tell me, have you ever been satisfied with one of these companies? Yeah, being satisfied, or los han tratado mal, le han dado mal servicio. Ahorita tengo más servicios contigo que el internet no me carga. Ahorita estoy, ahorita estoy con mi gato, no me lo acabo. Oh, yeah, same thing here, you know, I use Claro, but Claro, where I live at this moment is having problems, and then I really hope it doesn't, it doesn't affect this class, because uh, it was raining the whole day here, so the connectivity, the signal is really, really bad, but then, yeah, I don't feel satisfied because of this, and guys, what about you? Have you ever, I don't know, complained about the service you get? Se han quejado, any experience that you would like to share with me or with the class, any experience? Try, please, try to speak Spanglish the experience. That'll be great. Let me stop sharing. I wanna see your faces. Let's try to talk in English. Mira, yo una vez fui ahí al, I don't know, al Buffalo Queens y me salieron, no sé, no me gustó. I don't know, you tell me. Experiences. Yo, no sé. Donde le recomiendo que no vea la Chapultepec. <laughs> bueno, <laughs> bueno, too late. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> ah, okay. ne never been there. I don't know what that is. Solo, solo. Yo era el que estaba dando duro al. al... <laughs> Did you see that video? Vieron ese video demasiado. No, uh, el último no, el último no lo vio. No, el que fue un, vos. Un muchacho, un muchacho que se cayó, que andaba, que andaba, que andaba brincando. Y al Ay. final se terminó cayendo y dicen que se murió. Ah, no, I haven't seen sí. that one. Ya no voy a, sí, voy a ver murió. si lo encuentro. Sí, voy a ver si lo encuentro y se lo comparto para que es, lo vea. Es que después Pero no fue de la Chapu. No, ah. no fue. Eh, estaba fue? frente a la Chapu, pero parece ¿verdad? que estaba en, en los toros de no sé qué. Ah, en un centro comercial era, ¿no? Mm. Sí, en la San Gabriel. Es, ah, es que, okay. Ya es ven, que, no hay sí, que tomar. No, sí, porque arrepiento. todo el mundo se da cuenta. Arrepiéntanse. Sí. Arrepiéntanse. <ríe> Repent, pecadores. Repent. Uh, no, pero vaya, el, el, el video de las chicas, creo que hablamos de ese de la vez pasada, ¿no? Que de las chicas que they fire from the Pollo Campero for dancing TikToks. Mm. <laughs> from Guatemala. Uh, from Guatemala. Uh -huh. yes. By Marlene, don't do that at work. La van a fire. La van a fire. Fire. Uh, 
Y, y si lo van a hacer, tápense el logo de la empresa. Right. No, pero ya le dieron trabajo, dicen. Ah, bueno. Entre, 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 entre empresas, si alguien vio que había talento ahí. En KFC. ¿no? En esa, dijeron que en esa empresa sí hacían TikTok. Ah. Por eso estaban contratadas. KFC like quizás fue. It is like a boy in Mexico from Oxo. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I saw that. Uh -huh. Right, you see. So the company saw potential, you know, talent in those two ladies for publicity or something. No sé, algo vieron. Pues sí, ahora, you know, smart move. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, guys, let's uh, go back to customer service then. Uh, well, let me ask you, have you ever or like filled out or answered a survey? Do you know what a survey is? Survey, do you know this word? Yes? The survey is what you're seeing on the screen at this moment. The survey is una encuesta, customer like survey. For example, How satisfied are you with this product? Tenemos very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, very dissatisfied. Wow, this is, you know, uh, if you get a very dissatisfied, you are in trouble if the company really considers this. Number two, um, maybe a volunteer to read, please. Any, any volunteer? Only read the statement. Right. Uh -huh, right. Your opinion about the product quality. Exactly. High quality, average, low quality, very low quality. Imagine. So you have to rate, right? When it comes to rate, you have a scale, right? Rate. And then we have, as Daniel said, high quality, average, low and very low quality. Okay, um, next we have number three. Let's see, Judy, help us please, number three. A mí me dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, LC, yes, go ahead. Okay. Ay, perdón. <laughs> eh, the value, value, ¿cómo es? Value, value, value. value. Uh -huh. of this the product is excellent, good, poor, very poor. No sé. Yep. 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 Okay. Next one. Let's see. Narciso, help us with number four, please. Number four, Narciso. Will you continue using this product? Yes. No. Okay, good, nice. So we have four questions. I think it's only four, I don't know. So uh, the value of this product is excellent, good, poor, and very poor. And then we have, will you continue uh, using this product? And the answer is yes or no. I think it's only four or do we have another one? No, it's only four. So this is one example of a survey. What is another question or a statement guys you have been asked? When you call, yo creo que les dije que bueno, llamo a Claro. When I call Claro, I make sure I, I, I answer the survey. Siempre la lleno. Okay. Uh, what about you guys? Any other question that you might, you might have been asked? Otra pregunta que les hayan formulado ustedes for customer satisfaction experience? I think uh, if the client is uh, satisfied with the price that pay for the products, Pricing, okay, yes, the pricing is also another aspect, exactly. What else? Good, good contribution. What about the pricing? What else besides this? Además de eso, ¿qué más, guys? They attended him weekly. Okay, exactly. I was going to say that. How fast, right? How fast? Uh, how fast was the solution given? How fast did the rep attended you? Exactly. When it comes to time management, que tan rápido. I like it. What else? Que mas? 
if the client get uh, a product that he like he mm. he wants okay yes if the the customer or client is is happy with the product okay what else there's one more that i that i, I was asked when in claro that's why i think there are would, more uh -huh. would you recommend the, the company that's exactly what i wanted to hear yes would you recommend would you recommend the company or the service to somebody else okay yes of course those are the possible options and of course each company may have their own format right structures okay um so let's see vamos a leer estas eh, questions y vamos a responder the, the, the questions okay we have three questions la número tres es la que le va a poner un poquito más de le requiere un poco más de thinking porque va a pensar en los possible problems okay uh, think about possible problems the customer had with the product okay um, let's see Veamos, tomemos three minutes y empecemos a responder. Read the information again and answer the question with the, with the partner. Antes de responderla, me gustaría preguntarle, based on this survey, is this a satisfied customer? Veamos, or dissatisfied? Happy customer or sad or angry customer? Elsie, mm -hmm. what do you think? Happy, sad, angry, frustrated, dissatisfied or satisfied or very satisfied customer in overall? Angry, maybe. <laughs> Enojado or satisfaction, client. Angry, poor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, Based on these answers, what do you think, uh, Norma? Think is a happy customer or a or a sad or angry customer? Uh, hungry. Angry. 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 Uh -huh. uh, there are levels, right? Uh, for example, how do you say uh, what is another category of um, enojado? Uh, si ponemos niveles, uh, I would say I would say it this way: angry, enojado. It could be on fire. No. Uh, Anoya. Anoya. Our ex. There we go. I, I was gonna say upset, angry, upset. Pero si ya, ajá, creo, creo que agregaría annoyed. Me gusta annoyed. Pero hay una que los clientes la usan bastante y es esta. Una vez me dijo un cliente, I'm very pissed off. Así estoy. How would you say that? ¿Cómo dirían cuando están a, arriba de enojado ustedes? <laughs> Una mala palabra nada más que me ocurre. Uh, ok, but that's pissed off. It means that, you know, you are really, really, you know, uh, what? Very angry. Ok, so uh, pissed Uri. off. Furioso. Es más, no me hable. Ajá. Talk to my hand. Ajá. Ok. Ok, good. But let's see. Veamos entonces, analicemos. What are the answers? Respondamos, guys. When you finish, and if you have the answers, please let me know.
Hello? Hello, guys, can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. I'm yes, sorry. Teacher. I'm sorry, estaba hablando solo, pero es que era porque mi conexión se había quedado frozen, creo. Anyways, uh, did you finish already? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, yes. good. Thank you so much. I apologize for the delay, but it, it was just a connectivity issue on my, on my end. Okay, let's see. How was the customer experience? Any volunteer? The experience is bad. The experience was bad. Okay. This is my this is my my answer. And what is your analysis or, or why is it? Why do you think it's bad? Because the product I'm with the product um, when I buy the product I I'm when I use of the first time is broken. Mm. It's, it's a, it's a, I'm I'm not satisfied. I'm dissatisfied, dissatisfied with, mm -hmm. with the product. Okay, okay. I like your you know explanation. Thank you so much. Any other opinion? Another opinion. Bad experiences. This product did not meet your expectation. Nice, exactly. The product didn't meet the expectations. Okay, good, great. What else? How would you say meet expectations, Norma? For the for everybody knows. Sorry, teacher. How would you say meet expectations in Spanish so everybody knows? Mm -hmm. No cumple las expectativas. Exactly. Thank you so much. Right. Meet the expectation. Even though meet, eh, verbo, verbo conocer o encontrar en este escenario, este es lo que Norma acaba de decir. Thank you so much. Didn't meet the expectations. Good. What else? Any other opinion, guys, that you would like to share with the class? It's excellent when the customer uh, you leave a tip. Okay. Yeah, when you leave tips, if it is a like face-to-face -face service, if you do you guys tip when you go to restaurants? Is it a good idea tipping or not? Do you tip when you go to restaurants? Yes. Yes, they okay. They in the receipt. Oh, okay, in the deal. Oh, but that's different. That's for the company. <laughs> what about for the waiter or waitress? Do you give uh, five dollars for the assistance? <laughs> depending, <laughs> depending on the service uh, I receive. Okay, Daniel, when when you went to Chapultepec. Did you tip uh, the I, way? Uh, what? <laughs> I go, I go, I, I go, I never go to the Chapultepec. Ah, okay. I, I only go, I only go to Cadejo. <laughs> oh, like, okay, I'm sorry. So, I'm, excuse, excuse me, me. <laughs> excuse me, my friend. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, my dear friend. <laughs> okay, you see. La high, okay. high class society, como no discrimina. <laughs> ok, pues, I, I go to Constancia. <laughs> y yo, ahí a, a lo más barato, las la, la, la hamburguesitas chiquititas de la, la, la uno. La, en... <laughs> la, la, la regia. Ah, no, ah, ah la hamburguesa. Oh, ok. Ok. I, I, I think about, I think you talk about beer. <laughs> okay, no. so that, okay, I wanted to talk about food, but I <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> then so good. What else, then, guys? ¿Qué más tienen que agregar? Let's see. Uh, entonces, nadie hace tipping. Uh, bueno, depende, verdad? If the, if the lay, do you know what tip is? ¿Saben qué es tip? Tip, si, ¿Sí? todos saben Pro, qué es tip. Propina. En la propina, uh -huh. do you tip when, when you go to restaurants? Yes, me, me, yeah, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I, when nice. I when I when I go to the to the barber shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. for sure, exactly. Yes. Yes. Okay. When when I when when I go to the supermarket. Exactly. With the when I when I pay at the uh, okay. ¿Cómo se dice caja? Box? No, no caja. No, you're gonna okay. maybe at. Uh, when I pay the products, uh -huh. it's maybe it's at... one, one, sorry, is one boy taking the product and putting the mark. Yes, I was going to say the cashier is the person the who is chair. Uh -huh. But yeah, Daniel, good. I wanted to say that. I quería mencionar eso. Uh, guys, when you go to Super Selectos, uh, we, are, we know, right? We know, we know what happened there, right? At least one quarter. You know, give it, give yeah. it, tip, what tip, quarter. what quarter. God yeah. will, God will multiply what you give. In, uh, in, in, I try to do that in Walmart and the, the, the guy say to say me, I don't accept it. No, Walmart, no. I, I think no. no. Mm -hmm. but, but Super Selector, yes. Yeah, Super Selector, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys a, a, a story I heard, you know, once one of my friends, um, he, he said to me, you know, once I didn't have job, he said, and I went to work, I, I mean, I went to apply to different, you know, places, but they never hired me, so I didn't have options, I went to work at the selectos like that, helping people, people to package their stuff, and he said to me that once nobody gave him anything, at the end of the day, he didn't have anything to go back home. Did yeah, you understand what I said? Complicated. Complicated. Ex exactly. And, I, and, and then yeah. he said, now when I remember those days, he says, I always give tip to these people. Yo no le creía, pero porque he's, he's now is different. He's, 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 he's already graduated from the university. He has a really good job. He has... Uh, better conditions but he says that there was a time in his life in which he he did that job y me contó que una vez llegaron a las 7 de la noche y no había recibido ni una cora mes y tenía que regresar a su casa you see uh so when you when i see those people i say wow this is uh, he that connects me with my friend uh now my friend is somebody else but then back in time he had that experience and he said it to me when he said it to me he was like you know really really sad like trying to you know tell something a really like really crucial um time in his life so that's why i was saying that so because of tips, guys, let's go back to the topic. That's something different. But uh, the main message is, yes, tip whenever you can, uh, especially to those guys. Uh, OK, so let's move on. And what about number two? What are the answers that you have? Let's listen to somebody. Algunos que no han participado, OK, para que todos participen. Go ahead and use the chat. Veamos. What's your answer? Send me on the chat your answer. Is that the product good or bad? Or and why? Tell me why. <laughs> Christina. What's the answer, Christina? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, open, <laughs> open your mic, Christina. Yeah. Is the product good or bad? You listen in attention, the, the class teacher. <laughs> I think the, 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 the answer, my, my answer is the, the product is good when, when the excellent quality. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, of course. In general, yes. And what about in this one, in this survey we just saw? Is it good or bad? When, when no, um, no attention, the client in the store. Mm -hmm. Then it's bad. I can see yes. Lin Linda's answer on the chat. 
Uh, and I can say Marlene says a bad one. Linda says bad because it was very bad quality. Makes sense. What do you think, Ruben? What do you think, Elsie? What do you think, Xiomara? What do you think, Judy? Do you agree, disagree? Um, mm -hmm. The product is good one. Good one. Why? Um, um, Permítame, me perdí. Creí que esta, o sea, creí que las preguntas estas eran en base a algo que nosotros quisiéramos, pero creo que por las preguntas que están arriba, sí. Ajá, uh -huh. well, yeah, we have to consider. Es que le pregunto porque no estaba conectada hace ratito. No problem, yeah. The, these questions are based on the previous answers and based on the previous survey. Mm -hmm. And yes, if we consider the previous survey, then if you see the answers from this customer, you might change your um, idea about it, I am sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for sharing, Xiomara. And what about guys, now let's think in general uh, with number three. Think about possible problems the customer has with the product. No tenemos el producto, ¿verdad? Aquí no menciona what type of product it is. So what do you think? What are the possible problems? Now it can be an open question. What ideas do you have? Product um, issues, guys? Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sí, en el cell phone. I bought, although one is broken down in, in three months uh -huh. because it, don't, it did not change. Chair, perdón. Sorry. Uh -huh. It did not charge. And I talked it to the place where it was sold to me and it took the 50 days to return it to me. Okay, but they repair it. They repair the phone or they change it? Sí, they repair it, but uh, the time is... Yeah, so... valuable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I imagine. So thank you for sharing that experience. Uh, that's good. Sometimes we have these problems. Yeah. And yeah, we don't have much time to be doing these things, right? Okay, any other person who would like to share an experience or give me the answer for number three, please? Whatever comes to your mind, guys, please share it. Mm -hmm. Any experience or any other answer? Maybe the client uh, both a pizza and the pizza doesn't have all ingredients. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, maybe the client bought a pizza and the pizza didn't have all the ingredients, all the toppings here. Okay, good. What else? Good one. I want to hear more ideas, guys. Come on, what else? Other ideas, guys, that you might have? Well, if there isn't any other idea, thank you for sharing those to those who did it. Uh, well, guys, you see here we have two other links. Okay, this is for you to go ahead and listen. Don't, don't forget, don't forget you have this homework as well, okay? So do it and listen, get vocabulary and start listening all this you have two conversations and tomorrow we'll talk about this okay is that clear teacher uh -huh. when the product is defective uh -huh. and has no warrant warranty uh -huh. is the problem yes when the product is defective yes yeah. sometimes if this is um a manufacturing issue, manufacturing, it has warranty. But if it is a physical damage, then it might not have warranty. For example, 
if you if you drop the phone, so you see what the telephone, if you drop it, then you're not gonna have warranty. But if it's something like software issue or any manufacturing issue, then you do have warranty. Yeah, that changes the, you know. Thank you. Thank you for that idea. I like it. Uh, well, ahí les queda la tarea, guys. For tomorrow, please listen it. Escúchenla y la, me la, la, la compartimos. Esta parte es self-study. Self-study for you to go ahead and do it. Okay. Um, please do it. Leave some time to do so. Wow, we have now a topic which I want to focus on. And this is how to use uh, may and might. What do you know about these guys? Send me examples or, or questions or comments on the chat or open your mic. What do you know about may and might? Is there any difference? Is it the same? What do you know about this? Is it a new topic? Topic. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a, the different may and may is a use a third person. Oh no. Oh, yes. mm, okay, I see what you're Sorry. saying. Okay, I see, I see what you're saying. Uh, mm -hmm. What else? What else do you think? What else, guys? What else? Any other opinion? Okay, then uh, no problem. Let me uh, respond to that. Well, Marlene, it doesn't have to do with subjects, okay? So it uh, is not about using third person, it's not about using uh, subjects because the two of these may and might both are modal verbs, okay? So that means that they can be used with all the subjects, including third person, okay? So basically, may in mind is not about subject, is about something different. But then in general, the two of them are so, so similar. There is a slight difference, you know, between uh, these two ones. And we're gonna talk about this in a minute, okay? But before we go ahead and talk about this, has very little differences. I want to read the examples. So I need volunteers to read the first column where we have may, and I need another volunteer to read where we have might. So who wants to read the section of may? Anybody, please raise your hand. Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Go ahead. I may ask for a uh, refill. You may buy at the different store. They may not provide a good service. It may not reach your expectation. Expectation. Yes, expectations. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, that's that was a good pronunciation. Thank you. Uh, this one is. Oh, this is only very little observation. Refund. Refa. Refound. Okay, another volunteer to read the second column where we have might. Me, teacher. Please, thank you so much. Uh, Mick, uh, she, she meet what a uh, reference on those units. Mm -hmm. They meet comply about the service. We mean act to the Call with the supervisor. He may not buy her in. Okay, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, we are going to modify something right here. The pronunciation is might. Okay, uh, so repeat yourself, please. Might. Might, right. might, exactly, might, might, might. 
night. Exactly. And this is again, night. again, again. Okay. Again. So what is the difference? What's the difference? Uh, well, let me tell you that there's not much difference, but I do want you to write some ideas that I brought I brought for you guys okay uh, so let me go ahead and share them there's like I said there's not much different but I want you to take note if necessary okay let me start by by saying the following can you guys see my screen what I'm sharing yes okay let me change slide then let's see this is the next one not this one this one. I need a volunteer to read this text. Anybody? Ruben, help us, please. Maybe not. read this text. Okay. Uh, May and May are used main, mainly to talk about possibility. They can also be used to make a request to ask permission or to make a su suggestion. Okay, thank you. Thank you for reading. Yes, might and may guys are mainly used to, to talk about possibility, exactly, possibility. They can also be used to make requests, request to ask permission or to make suggestions, okay? Significa de que los dos podemos usarlos para, para hacer Los dos hablan de posibilidades, los dos se utilizan para hacer solicitudes, para solicitar permiso y para hacer sugerencias. So what's the difference then? There's not much difference, exactly. This little one, we're going to go over that in a minute. But then in general, guys, there's not much difference. It, it only about probabilities that something happened, it might be or percentage, but in general, it's, they're very similar in use. So let me go over this. Uh, maybe you want to write this down. Cuando usamos may, cuando usamos might. Lo, do lo usamos para possibility, to make requests, solicitudes, to ask permission, or to make suggestions. Ese es el uso común de esos dos modales. So modales. Um, okay, y ya dijimos hace un rato que se usa para todos los subjects, right? No hay diferencia. Okay, um, so I'm going to give one minute para que el que quiera write this down. Así de repente quiere hacer un request, uso may or, or might. Ahí tenemos ese challenge. Vamos a practicar en todos los sentidos. Hacer un par de, de ejemplos. Or maybe you want to screenshot this idea. Okay, let me let me continue. Look at this one. When might and may are used with the same meaning, when may is more what? This is one of the difference. Look, cuando la, los modales se utilizan con el mismo significado, ¿qué sucede entonces? May... Igual, que, igual que can y could. Ok, yeah, so, yeah. The polite. Exactly. Yeah. One is more polite than the other. Aquí es more formality. Ok, más formalidad. Ok, so may is more formal than, than might. Okay, los dos son modales, moral pairs. Okay, so basically, formality is one of the differences. May is more formal than might. Okay, that's one diff, one, one very little difference. Okay, maybe you want to write down this idea. Y hay unos ejemplos que vamos a ver en un par de segundos también para que me ayuden a crear. Forgotten something. Let me check the attendance. Uh, <laughs> give me a second. Uh, well, write this the, this idea down and let me check the attendance. Let me see. Stop sharing. 
I had forgotten that. Okay, let's see. First one here, Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Narciso. Narciso is then listening, but he's very quiet today. Narciso, Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you, LC. Gabriela. Gabi, no? Okay. Um, let's see, Herson. Present. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruben. Present teacher. Thank you, JC. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Linda. Maria Idalia. Present. Thank you, Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Present teacher. Okay. Rafa. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Thank you. Ray. Xiomara. Present and, teacher. And Judy. Lisette. Teacher, sí. Mm. Lo que pasa es que no podía poner el audio, no sé por qué se había estado trabado esta cosa. Mm. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. Thank you so much for, for saying it. Sí, ya le había puesto aquí attendance. La vi que estaba conectada. Okay, thank you so much. Well, now, let's, this is theory. I understand that. Hagamos ejemplos para que se vaya entendiendo mejor este tema. En conclusión, no hay mucha diferencia. Es mínima. Es más, es más un tema de formalidad y de porcentaje de probabilidad que sucedan las cosas, ¿ok? pero es no much difference, ¿ok? Y por qué hablamos, a ver, veámoslo en escenario para que así se entienda un poquito más, ¿ok? Let me give you, I, I, I wrote you some examples, aquí hice unos ejemplos, ¿ok? Let's talk about possibility, ¿ok? Uh, you can use might or may to say that is possible that something is true or that something will happen in the future. Pensemos, veamos dos ejemplos, cuando may se utiliza para posibilidad, possibility, y también se usa may or might. Tenemos dos ejemplos. I might see you at the party. This may be, this may be why she enjoys her work. Probability. Son probabilidades. Las dos están en su, en su, en contexto same use. O sea, que yo también podría decir, I, I may see you at a party. Okay? O podría decir, this might be why she enjoys her work. Both are okay. Podrían pensar en un contexto, guys, en una oración donde el may o el might expresa una possibility. Y mándeme un ejemplo. Like this one. ¿Qué posibilidad? Future or present? ¿Alguna posibilidad? Think about it. Give me one example. I want to read it. Y vemos la estructura simple. Sujeto, el modal y el verbo en su forma base siempre. Like the examples I'm, I'm giving you and the ones we already read. También los que leímos. Cuando alguien tenga su primer ejemplo de posibilidad, please say it or send it to the chat. Is it okay if I say I might, I might eat seafood tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, totally okay. So that means that it is, there is a probability or possibility that you do it. Una posibilidad que sí lo haga, okay? What else? I think we have an example on the chat. Let me see. I may have vacations next week, okay? I might travel to Guatemala on, on next Christmas, okay? Possibilities, exactly, exactly. 
So these are future possibilities. What about present possibility? Let's think, piensen en su, um, su mejor amigo o amiga. Y, por ejemplo, she, my, what? Or, she, or he, may, what? I might not go to work tomorrow. Okay. I may go out on Saturday. Saturday, okay. Ruben, good. Elsie, no, no, grite, Elsie. Yes, uh, Elsie está usando la negation or negative, okay? Yes, you can say that. Uh, what else? Any other probabilities, possibilities that something happened? I see some examples, but I don't see most of them. I don't see some of you, uh, some of your sentences. Please take one more, one or, or two more minutes, but I want you to share. My sister might not go to work. Okay, might has a mistake on spelling, but I understand your point. My sister might not go to work. Okay, we may hire him next week. Sounds good. Hire me, please. Okay, good. What else? Other examples? Examples? Please take some time, send me your probabilities, possibilities. Something happened, something they may not accept the offer. Okay, yes, that's okay. Probabilities, possibilities, something happened. Anybody else, please? I might take an important trip. Okay, good. That sounds good. Thank you, Elsie. I might call you again. <laughs> nice, I like that example. It's just a possibility. Okay? Don't, don't think I'm gonna be calling you, so I might call you, okay, good. This is not guarantee, right? That is going to happen. What else? Okay, I don't see more examples. I don't know if, if it's my connectivity, but I don't, I don't see more examples. Now, let's uh, take a look at the next scenario. Look at this one. What about uh, to make requests? So formality, in formal English, we may say may or might, okay? But then may and might are sometimes used for making requests or for asking for or giving permission, right? Look at this one. May I ask, may I ask question or may, or you may leave the table. You may leave the table. You may leave the table. May I ask a question? So let's think about permission now. Permission, guys. What do you think? Or asking for something. This is another scenario in which we use, you know, uh, these two modal verbs. Pensemos ahora en esos scenarios. To request or, you know, to ask to making some to make a request let's see I, they may lose everything gambling yes in las vegas <laughs> i might rest it i might rest on friday uh judy on friday i might rest you there's just a possibility what about now requests or permissions hey <laughs> got that's the the that's it. That's the that's the one we always learned, right? As being, may I go to the bathroom? So that is for permission. Mm -hmm. Or we can say my my I go to the bathroom, which is not that common, right? But may is very common, indicating permission, right? Look at the one that I I may come back on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Let's think about requests or permissions or or asking for something, Ruben, and give me your examples. When you want to ask something to your boss, what do you say? Repeat, teacher. When you, um, when you ask something, when you make a request to your boss, 
What do you say? O si ustedes son jefes, una, una pregunta que, una, un statement para sus empleados, para sus, a su, su, su grupo, su equipo. Let's see, I got some, mom, my, my give me permission, I go to the party on Saturday, please. Mm -hmm. That is okay, but then the question is a little bit long. That's why I, I think it doesn't, it, it needs to be modified a little bit. Vamos a ver la modif cómo la modificamos. Let's see. Mom might give me permission. Okay, ahí vamos una oración. Possibility. And then you un un to go to the party on Saturday. And then please, I don't think we need it because you're not talking to your mom. You're just giving an example. If you were asking to asking permission to your mother, yes. For example, mom, uh, may you give me permission to go to the party, please? And then if it is directly, maybe you want to say please. But this is a scenario, no. Please, it doesn't fit. Um, may I go to Chapultepec with my friend? If you're asking permission to somebody, to your wife, <laughs> to your girlfriend, <laughs> May I go to the chapel? Please don't tell me anything. Okay. May I rest the next? May I rest next weekend? Next weekend. May I go to? May I? May I? Mm, Linda, may I to rest? So let's. May I rest? My my I rest exactly. El two is not necessary. My I rest. We don't use the two. We may work late. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Uh, veamos otro escenario. Ese es permission. Tenemos uno o dos más. Um, what about this one? Suggestions. Es otro common scenario. Si es una might is often used in polite suggestions. Miren, might. Lo cual no descarta que podamos usar también. May. Um, pero si son polite, more polite, uh, you know, then we want to say, you might like to read this and see what you think. I think it might be better to switch off your phone. This is very polite. I think, en vez de decirle apaga tu teléfono, I think it might be better to switch off your phone. This a, sound, sounds like a suggestion. So, hagamos un par de sugerencias, guys. Para la clase, para sus compañeros. Suggestions for a teacher. I don't know. Go ahead. Make suggestions. Sin piedad. <laughs> no pity. Suggestion. Let's leo on the chat. Think about suggestions, please. And if you want to open your mic, do it. If you're getting a microphone, do it. Mm -hmm. Suggestions, please. Okay, I haven't, I haven't read anything yet. Suggestion. For example, you might need to, to listen to the conversation to improve your English. 
Let's see, I have two. I think you might wear the, the black dress. I like it. Yes, you might, you might wear it. It sounds like a suggestion. I think you might, you might wear the black address, black dress. I think you might wear the black dress. Yeah, depending on how you say it. I think you might wear the black dress when when you when you see or when you are, are observing that uh, the outfit doesn't look that good. Yeah, you want you can say that, right? Like kind of like suggesting to change the outfit. Okay, you might watch the videos. You may watch the videos. Yes, you may listen to the audios, the conversation. <laughs> okay, what else, Christina? What's your example with? with suggestions using this model verse. Okay, uh, let's see, I have more examples now. You may turn on the camera, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sounds like a suggestion, <laughs> a real suggestion, Xiomara. You may be punctual at work, okay, yes. You may watch the video, you may turn on the camera, you may be punctual at work, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, we have some of your, los que no han mandado, no sé si es porque no quieren mandar o no, no le han entendido, okay. I want, but, but please tell me. Uh, well, uh, traje esto because I consider it is good as well. Miren, Inche, para, uh -huh. How do you say consejo? Advice. Consejo is advice. 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 Uh -huh. Advice. Advice, él va a mandar advice. Mm -hmm. Ok, um, de, esta, de esa siguiente imagen que le vamos a share, solo quiero que lo que quería expresar de esto es la parte de expressing wishes. To express wish, para expresar un deseo, solo se usa may. Ese es el más común. For example, May the new year bring you happiness. Eso es el más común. Así que no vamos a usar might. Aquí. Express wishes. May. Sí. Hagamos uno para expresar wishes. A ver. Algo. Something very common is this meaning. Uh, bien form, bien, may God bless you. May God bless you. For example. May God bless you. I, this is a very common phrase. Mm -hmm. um, so, any example? Y les quería traer esto a manera de ilustrar un poquito más. Um, veamos, Elsie, would you like to read? Lea, Elsie, esa imagen que estoy, I'm showing on the screen. Okay. May or might. My and might can normally be inter interchange uh -huh. we with without a significant i know it's not so far. without difference in meaning meaning how we how we, however que es eso como se dice uh, however sin embargo however might often imply implies implies uh -huh. uh, implies uh, a smaller chance i don't say that for pronunciar yeah a smaller chance of something happening a smaller chance of some something happening yeah. when when express express uh, expressing, expressing possibility. possibility it may rain um it mid mint rain it might rain it might rain mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay when expressing 
<laughs> it's totally fine. I want to interrupt you right there, but thank you so much. Um, so it may rain 70% of, of possibility, and then it might rain is less, 40%. I wanted to say that because that would be like the biggest differences. But in general, la primera idea, miren, it can normally use uh, without significant difference. Like, that means that they mean the same. Slight differences when using these two model verbs, guys. Okay, very slight differences, formality, and a little bit of percentage when it comes to probabilities or possibilities, okay? Um, some of you haven't sent your examples here yet, but I'm thinking it's because you don't want to text. So would you like to talk? Would you like to open your mic and, and share with me your and with the class the examples you have? Or what questions do you have? Alguna pregunta, alguna contribución that you have about this model verse? Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, when you say, may God bless you, the translate is, which is the translate? Mm, okay. Uh, the mm -hmm. thing is that it, it just like to express wishes and to be a little bit more formal on that sentence. You say, may God bless you. It's like, uh, there's, you won't translate, you won't translate may. Mm -hmm. Because it's just like an expression, uh, que, que Dios te bendiga. But wow. then, yeah, que Dios te bendiga. It's uh, a wish. It's a, a wish. wish. It's a wish, exactly. May the new year bring blessings to your life. So mm -hmm. ba basically, it's just a wish. It's a wish. And that is very common. May... Um, May the odds be with you. May something nice happen to you. So basically, it's just a way of expressing a wish. Y es como es un modal, no necesariamente va a translate. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, so it's just to express a wish. But that would be the structure in English that we use. Alguien más? Anybody else have any other question or any other contribution to this, this topic? Moral burns? Ya hemos visto un par de morals, hemos visto can, could, may, might, y faltan un par por ahí. Hemos visto should, creo que vimos should ya, ¿verdad? Well, if we haven't seen them, we're going to see them. Pretty, 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 pretty sure, I'm pretty sure about this. All right, let's do something. Um, tenemos six uh, sentences. We're going to create them. Vamos a create, pero vamos a usar the words that are in, in the parentheses here. Uh, podemos usar may or might to come and tenemos que pensar en un complemento de la idea. Okay, tenemos he may he not be satisfied. A ver, ¿cómo nos quedaría la primera? ¿Alguien quiere ayudarnos? Primero usamos may or might y luego agregamos un complemento. So the idea makes sense. Let's say one minute and let's eh, compartamos la primera. Please. See, he may not be satisfied with the service. Mm -hmm. With the service. He may be not satisfied with the service. Mm -hmm. Let's add the service. I like it. So what else? Any other idea with the first one?
you may be not satisfied with the product. Mm -hmm. He may be not satisfied with the product. You can, of course, say he might be not satisfied with the product, right? And if it's possibility, if you say might, it might be less probability that that, that is true. Okay, what else? Xiomara, what's your example? Do you understand this? Entiende más o menos el tema? Uh, mm, sí, creo que he entendido. He may not be satisfied with the, uh, with the phone service. Mm -hmm. Good, Xiomara. Yeah, that's correct. I like okay. it. Okay. Elsie says he might not be satisfied with you with you dinner uh, with uh, something must be changed here. He might not be satisfied with his dinner, I think. With his dinner, with uh, the person's dinner. He, he customer, I mean, Marvin, that one needs to be modified. He customers, I might. Mm, no, we need to change that. What do you want to say, Marvin? Marvin, ¿qué quiere decir? Vamos a ayudarle a construir. En primer lugar, eh, acordémonos el formato. Uh, el formato subject y luego el, el modal verb. Y en su ejemplo, Marvin, tiene he como subject, luego tiene customer, luego tiene I. Me ha escrito tres subjects. He, customers y I. Solo es uno. Only one. Okay, ¿Cuál sería la, el que vamos a dejar, Marvin? Eh, he, he nada más. Exacto. He, luego el modal. He... Yeah. Ok, he might oh. not be satisfied Y agregarle un complemento Yes Good, good, nice Nice he, Ok And then when you finish, think about the other ones that are, The ones that are here Pensemos en la respuesta de los otros Please Okay, let's see. We have other example, Maria Idalia. He may not be satisfied with the TV that he bought last week. I like the compliment. Yes, very good ideas. Let's finish the other ones, please. Let's take us, let's say five more minutes to finish it. Awesome, Christina, you finished. Good. So let's see who else finishes. Okay, LC. Car warranty may be longer. Oh, I like it. The car warranty may be longer. Okay. So let's add the car warranty. Good.
Okay, so who else? Ruben, did you finish? Yes, not yet? Okay, all right, let's take some time. Xiomara finish, Linda finish, Yuri, Elsie, Norma. Ruben says the might weren't the product below. Uh, but remember, Ruben, that we place might, usamos el might, justamente después del subject. In this case, um, warranty can be nuestro subject. No podemos poner eh, might antes del subject. Pero tenemos que ponerlo después. Y después del might, tendría que ir un verbo. Podría ser be longer. Okay, uh, let's modify that one. Narciso, thank you so much for confirming. Okay, appreciate that. So let's take one or two more minutes, guys, so everybody finish. And whatever you have, please, you are going to um, share it. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think it's about time. We have the warranty might be longer, says Norma, depend the use of the fur, okay? Depending on, depending on the use of, okay? The washer machine might be a longer warranty. Mm, might be, a longer, longer, mm, mm, I think something must be changed here. So the washer machine might be, um, might have maybe, but not long, might be, might have a longer warranty, but because it's B, that's why I feel like something must be changed. So the washer, the washer machine might be, Hmm. Uh, no, in this case, I would suggest, Marie Dale, to say the washer machine might have a longer warranty. Si queremos decir longer warranty, como está ahí, tendría que ser might have, pero no might be. B would affect, yes, B would affect the meaning. B is like uh, the washing machine might be a longer warranty. No, I was not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's okay. I like I like what you say. So if we want to say that way, mm, the washing machine might be a long warranty. Let me let me see. Mm -mm, no, no, the washer. I'm trying to think if we can say it might be a long warranty, but think I think we need to change something else. Mm. No. No, let's say let's say my may have or might have either or okay. So what else? Any other example, guys, that you might have? No. Any other example that you may have? Are we okay with that? 
Rubén, do you want to share one of these examples? Ahí nos falta todavía el, el de service, excellent, rec recommend, waiter, and be, a, be in a hurry, Amanda, not use. No me los han mandado. Uh, let's see. Number three, the service at this restaurant might not be excellent. Esa sí está bien. Algo así sí, excelente. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like that one, Harrison. That one is, is just, just about right. Let's see, Xiomara, they may, they may, they want to be longer. In, no, we need to change that one, Xiomara. They may, they want to be long. Después de may, vamos a poner en la oración el verbo. They may be longer. Pero había que modificar un poco porque después del may, we use the verb, usamos el verbo. Y se me ha puesto the wanty y eso no es un verbo, por eso es que se afecta un poco el... Usamos wanty como el, como el subject, ok, that's my oh, suggestion. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Idalia, tenemos otro de Idalia, muy bien. The service may improve because it's not, it's not excellent, ok, yes, correct. The service may improve. Because it's not excellent. Yes, it's a possibility. What about the other ones, guys? I don't see many examples. Estamos 15. You are 15 people connected. Tendría que haber 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15 of each, um, of each sentence, of each option. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Let's keep uh, writing, please. Let's see, Xiomaras, you may recommend a friend. You may recommend, hmm? okay. You may recommend something to a friend. You may recommend me something. You may recommend, yeah, you wanna say something right there. You may recommend her to do something. You may recommend this something to somebody, okay? What else? The waiter being uh, be in a hurry, uh, Amanda. So what are your examples? Vaya, eh, quiero que los compartan y algunos no me están compartiendo. Voy a hacer entonces grupos. Quiero que se vayan y lean a su compañero sus ejemplos. Y algunos solo están observing, chilling, tired. <laughs> Vaya, van, vamos a hacer grupos y van a ir a compartir con sus compañeros sus oraciones y se ayudan a terminarlo porque tengo bastante que no lo están haciendo así que uh, please take, take advantage of the time solo les voy a dar unos 3, 4 minutos y las comparten please eh, no more Norma, lista Xiomara, Linda Raquel uh, Marvin ok, Elsie Okay, ready? Yuri, aquí vamos.
living for living his job. For living early. Podría ser. For. For living early. Como salir temprano, algo así. Va. For living early. For living. For dejar salir. For go out. Going out. Yeah. For going out. For going out early. Live early, sería. Salir. Live. The waiter is the waiter may for living early. Okay. Amanda might no use. Amanda might. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. Welcome back. Thank you for practicing. Um, okay, so we are going to uh, share some of the ideas that were already shared in your rooms. Uh, I want to hear at least the, the last three. Okay, so please take um, your time or raise your hand, please, and share me the three last examples. Who wants to do it? Anybody, please? 
Anybody just go ahead and share with me the last three examples. Lo que escuchó su compañero, lo que usted había hecho, eh, please. Me teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate that. Go ahead. I, the four. Yes. And you may recommend the service in the restaurant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five. Uh, the winter may be in hurry in two days. The waiter may be in a hurry in two days. Okay. It sounds like more like a present activity, but it might happen. So we don't know. Thank you. What about number six? Um, Amanda might not use the computer. Okay. Amanda may not use the computer. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, so one more participation. Thank you so much, Christina. Anybody else? Me. Thank you. You made the recommended uh, the hotel pitch. Uh, by the waiter may rush be in the hurry. Be in a hurry. Uh, Amanda may not use the shoes. Amanda may not use the, sh the shoes, okay, for the party, for high heels, okay. Good, thank you so much, guys, for sharing, uh, appreciate it. Esa actividad que falta es, is gonna take some time. Sin embargo, me gustaría que empezáramos a tener las ideas y lo terminan, ¿verdad? Tienen, like, I think it's little time. Pensemos en forma, como clase, En los aspectos que tendría que llevar esa conversación, veamos, uh, it's a conversation when you are dissatisfied. Hagamos un brainstorming de ideas, a ver qué frase diría un cliente dissatisfied. Que, what phrases would, would a dissatisfied uh, customer say? Let's see, ¿qué dirían ustedes si fueran dissatisfied customer with a product? Or what would you do if you were a dissatisfied? What would you do? ¿Qué harían ustedes si fueran un dissatisfied customer? I write uh, in, an email to the okay. company. You 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 may write an email. Expressing my dissatisfied with the product. Expressing your dissatisfaction. Okay. Yes, makes sense. What else? What would you do uh, on the phone if you were on a call? Imagínense una conversación with a representative. Uh, how would you say, what would you say? Any phrase that you would say? The service is bad when the attention mm -hmm. the service. Problem. Okay, the service is really bad. Okay. Okay, what else? What, uh, look at this uh, ideas. It says, so you are dissatisfied with the product and uh, you say what you might do about it. So let's, let's put it this way. So let's think about one product that you are not satisfied with. Let's say this is a what? Maybe, um, I don't know, the, um, it can be a TV or refrigerator or devices like phones or tablets. And what would you say? What would you do? Like- Maybe I, I said that, that I want a refund. Okay. Okay, that you- uh, when a refund, yes, okay. What would you do if you have a phone that, that's not working within the first days after the purchase? Let's say, what would you do? Or what might you do using this model? If the phone is not working and you just bought it, what, what might you do? Change, maybe use a warranty. Yes, you can use the warranty. I would just return it. I, I, would, I may return it. I may send it back. 
it's not gonna use it if it's not working, for example. Or like you said, uh, I may ask for a refund, a full refund, okay? What else? Well, um, tomorrow we're going to start thinking or brainstorming ideas in how to create a conversation. And I don't wanna start it today because it will take longer than the time we have left. We only have like three minutes. So it's not, it's not, in, it's not enough time, but we can work on this tomorrow. So not, not, there's no problem with this. Okay, so uh, think about some ideas guys for tomorrow because we're gonna do it tomorrow. And today, just let me go ahead and check the attendance, okay? Uh, let's see. And thank you for your participation, guys. I really appreciate that. And do not forget to complete the activities uh, that you have pending today and tomorrow because on Wednesday, remember that we have the midterm on Wednesday. And uh, to not leave everything for Wednesday because uh, we need to send the grades on Wednesday. Nosotros completamos las semanas en Wednesday y tiene que estar all set, todo completito, including the midterm. Así que no vaya dejando ahí para el Wednesday para que no se le acumule, okay? So let me just finish the attendance. Uh, Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Elsie. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabriela. No, okay. Herson. Jose Miguel. Hello, teacher. Present teacher. <laughs> Didn't I say? <laughs> Present Daniel. teacher. Thank you. Sorry, Daniel. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I skipped okay. your name. No problem. I just updated it. Thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, so thank you, Herson. Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Ruben. Present teacher. Thank you, JC, missed today. Uh, Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Idalia. Present. Thank you, Maria Julia. Marlene. Present. Thank I'm you. Here. Good. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rafa missed today. Raquel. Present. Thank you. Ray is not here. Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. And Judy, last but not least. <gasps> Judy. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for your time. Uh, try to rest. I know you might be tired. See you tomorrow and complete the assignments, please. Don't leave it by, by the end of the, of the day. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. See Bye. you. Bye. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.